Hi guys, I uh, just wanted to show you some stuff I got from uh, a trade actually. I traded with my friend. He traded me some comics and some trade backs, and I traded him uh, some uh, Savage Court, of, Savage Court, Savage Sword of Conan's, and some uh, Marvel Treasuries and stuff. Some extra ones I had. I, I think I still owe him some trade, so he said keep me in mind. He wanted me to have these things, so he knew I enjoyed them. So he said, "Here's either just get any more extras of any of this stuff. Let me know, and then I can just I'll just give it to him, just to make up for the fact that I think I got uh, some really awesome books here. Uh, let me start with the comic books I got to trade. Uh, this is the Punisher one shot, kill the Marvel universe. I read this, and this is actually pretty funny. Uh, you had a good idea for the Hulk there. Instead of um, trying to beat him, you just waited until he turned back to, to Banner and shot him." Which makes sense. So basically, instead of uh, the mob killing um, his family, it was superheroes. So then he went on a rampage and killed them all. So that was. These are all. These are all older books, obviously. Uh, give me one moment, buddy. Can you put this on top of uh, this here so we can get that? Any things? Just let him put them some here for me. Thank you. This is where I'm signing off. Where to put this? Okay. He also traded me. Thank you, bud. He traded me some Daredevils. Gotta love Daredevil. So uh, I'm gonna put this right back where it was. Uh, Daredevil, Daredevil, Daredevil number 192. 192. So we gotta board these things. And 193. He's got that big axe there. Holy smokes! That's the terrifying. Right Again, I think if I ever wanted to make another run of a long series of comics, I would either, either pick Daredevil or Detective Comics, because I have a pretty good chunk of those ones already. So I mean, if I really wanted to finish off, I, I, I keep wanting to focus on smaller ones because they're easier to, uh, easier to complete. I'm also uh, running out of room. One video I should show you guys on a collector room. We have a, a collector room in the basement. I made it for my wife. And, she collects like M&Ms and stuff like that, and dispensers and all kinds of things to do with the advertising. And I, uh, well, she likes Smurfs, and I like Smurfs too. Sorry, but I like Smurfs. Uh, Snoopy and stuff like that. So she collects as well. We do it together as a, as a couple thing. So, uh, also, I'm sorry, I get off track here for a second. Um, so it's 192, 193, and this is 194. This is a neat one. Uh, this is. Pitchfork guy and went after Daredevil. But yeah, I'd, I would pick either pick Daredevil or Detective Comics to go for. The problem is Detective Comics would be harder to finish because those issues can get really expensive. Whereas I already have Daredevil 1 to 3 already. I got a really good deal. I showed them in a previous video. I already have them, so it would be easier to finish Daredevil. I do enjoy Daredevil a lot. I know I don't get the new Daredevil, but I got a certain amount of comics I have to get every month and I can't, I don't want it, I can't, I, I just don't want to go over that because then I just, it just gets so expensive after a while you can't keep up. And life is so fast nowadays that the, you, you got to try to keep up. Uh, the, la the last Daredevil, yeah, the last Daredevil I got was 195. So these look like police beating up on, uh, on Daredevil, but I don't think they, they are policemen, so let's find out. So I got those, and he knows how much I uh, like the Punisher. Uh, there's this stuff here, Punisher War Journal number one. So there's the first issue of the Punisher War Journal. He paid, I don't know, I paid five bucks for this thing back in the day. That's what it says here, so Punisher War Journal. Now I know a lot of people don't consider Punisher a hero. And I don't think he is either, but but I still think he's a good character. And this is Punisher War Journal number two with the Daredevil appearance. So there's the Punisher taking off his shirt, ready to beat these guys to, to a pulp, and there's Daredevil coming about behind. I, I have the Punisher's first appearance. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. It to be so much sometimes you have some comics can't remember. <laughs> uh, this is Punisher War Journal number three. Also staring. 
still start, still gets the range of that daredevil right there. There's the mystery of the Punisher wardrobe. And I'll say it again, I I didn't mind the Daredevil movie. I don't know, I just took it for what it was. And it's okay. <laughs> I liked it. Even if he hit, even if uh, Affleck hates it, I still like it. Um, this uh, this is a kind of an out of the out of the ball part one. Like um, he just traded him because he didn't want anymore. I think he's like, I, I, I don't recognize this one too much, but it's uh, Infinity Annual number two. This, for some reason, I think I, I do like the Doom Patrol, but I'm thinking this is a Doom Patrol bad guy. I, think, right? I don't remember his name. But I'm starting to get into Doom Patrol. I like the I'm starting to like the old old comics. You know? Doom Patrol was always a great character. I think that's looks like the bad guy from him. Or very similar. And of course, the last comic book I traded for him from him was uh, GI Joe Special Missions Number Two. So, this one. Now, now the bulk of the trade was because of these things here. Uh, I'll show you this one first. I've always saw this at my comic book store. I've always wanted to try it and get it, but it was always just one issue, or one book, never both of them. But it, what it was was this here. He traded me this. It's a uh, mouse about the uh, it's about mice in the, uh, the Nazi era, but they're, they're not people. They just thought people. The mice from the going through the, the Holocaust and stuff like that. So it was actually a, it's actually an interesting read. I've always wanted to pick it up and check it out. The, the artwork looks really cool. And I don't know, I thought it might be a great story. It is a good story so far. Basically, he's uh, is a guy writing about his, his this guy's son. He's writing a, a comic book. He wants, he's talking to his dad about what happened during the war because he wants to make a, a comic about it. And uh, so his dad's telling him stories and his dad's really cheap. <laughs> he's really cheap. And, uh, he's, I think he's, I don't know how old he is, but he's trying to climb on the roof to fix the roof himself. And he says, I'll just pay someone to do it. It's okay. And, no, 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 I'll do it. It's okay. And, uh, it's about him going through what, what, what they went through with the war. And it looks like the Nazis are actually, uh, cats. And, uh, can really, they, they assign different animals for different species, or different species, different species of animals. For different uh, different groups of people. So I think this is cool. For who these guys. Not a good story so far. And it came in this. Uh, like whenever I found it, it was just the one book by itself. But he, he gave me the. It actually came in a full box, so it's always pretty cool. And now the rest of the well, the bulk of the tr trade was was, was trade backs. And this is from uh, reprint. Reprints. I'm sorry of G.I. Joe's, the IDW from the classic G.I. Joe's. So he traded me all of these ones here. This is him the I.D. Joe. So there's, oh sorry, see that one, sorry. This is volume one. Let's remove this, I'll bend the cardboard on the group. Oops, I smoked some more. And then I got this cool one. So, so the covers are modernized, but the, the stories inside are the classic one. So there's number two. A lot of cool looking at him there. He's so cool. Well, it was the bad guys, but they had cool looking stuff. His tanks and everything. Even the symbol was cool. Uh, this, so I, I jumped to number three. I didn't get number three. I jumped to number four. So there's uh, the Joe's on the front of that one. Again, it's all the IDW, IDW trades. There's Tomax and... Uh, Zemos. I was thinking about how to say it because it's just the first name. Uh, this is number four, it was number four, this is number five, Serpentor's on this one. It's Dr. Mindbender. Up again, it's all been modernized. That Serpentor actually looks really cool. And there's Dr. Mindbender, Cook Commander. And then I got number six. And it's got the Joes on the front here. Again, these are all the trades, so I can. It took me a while to read all these again, but I think it was a great trade. And finally, number seven for this for this one here. It's got Storm Shadow and um, 
Uh, 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 this is Special Missions Trade from IDW, number volume number one. So there's Special Missions, number one. Number, I guess I should do it in plastic, but it's in plastic. This is uh, Beachhead and stuff, there's Special Missions, this is number two. Let's open this up, this is number two. And. Number three, Jinx, Young Ho, Alpine. I think it's Tunnel Rat. I think that's Tunnel Rat there with the first place. Much? No, yeah, I'm not sure about that one. This is number three. The artwork in here is like, it's all, it's just basically reprints of special missions. So it's, it's, it's modernized covers, but older stuff on the inside, as I said before. And the last one was number four volume of special missions, and this is a cool cover. Uh, look at all the wrong cool guys on here. Storm Shadow, Firefly, Destro, Cobra Commander, and the Baroness. I don't know, but that, that Baroness costume, you see cosplayers put on that costume, there's, that is a nice costume. <laughs> Sorry, but I, I really like the Cobra symbol and stuff like that. It's cool. That that's an awesome that'd be an awesome costume. But yeah, so that's I think that was a really good trade. Okay. It's nice to my buddy to he knows how much I like GI Joe, so I'm just gonna flip back real quick here to the uh, first volume to show you that it's just the again it's just the uh, just the older older uh, GI Joe comics put in the trade. So you can see there there's Cobra and those weird tanks and stuff. So I can't wait to read this. I, again, I gotta get number three though, because I, I don't have number three. But still, great trade. Uh, thanks. I just want to share that with you guys. So thanks a lot for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.